capo. Hello my Aquarian friends, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be your love reading for the rest of September. So from the 15th to the 30th, someone may not want to give up on a situation and continue forward. Alright, so we have, oh so much going on astrologically right now. Saturn going direct on September 18th, thank goodness. Anything that's been stalled in your life or you haven't been sure about how to move forward, well, clarity is about going to happen. New opportunities opening, old opportunities coming back. Anyways, we have the Pisces full moon coming up this weekend, 13th, 14th of September. And it's all about, my friends, well, tomorrow and the next day, it's all about um, whatever happens this weekend. I'm just going to give you some advice. Take it if you want it or not. Uh, cut the energy level in half of whatever it is you're gonna do or think to do uh, if it's a good thing that's happening and you're excited about it cut the energy level in half and take a wait-and-see approach we got Neptune doing some challenging aspects right now okay um, also we have the Pisces full moon is very uh, charged and you may want to feel greater about things than they actually are or even opposite worse about things than they actually are. So whether there's a good thing happening or a negative, cut all of the energy in half if it's negative. You know, someone trying to control a situation for certain, a divine working in the background. If you have a negative situation you're dealing with this weekend or it feels very hard, you know what? You could be feeling worse about it than it actually is. But now is a perfect time to set your intentions to what you want to bring into your life from a heart-centered, loving way. Fantasize, my friends. Set your intentions for the beauty that is your life. Think the highest things you could possibly think that are beautiful that could never happen for you. Think them. Own them as yours and then trust the divine to take it 10 steps further. We have somebody buckling down and getting the work done. We have release and let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities, time to move on. It's entirely possible that someone's had an ending in a relationship or even a workplace scenario and you're buckling down and getting the work done, focusing on your finances because you can't focus on anything else without bringing negativity to you. Perhaps you're feeling very negative about a lot of other things. We have the inflow of abundance coming or an idea about how to make money, how to step into your passions and use all of this energy that you have in a creative way, my Aquarian friends. Stress that comes from having many things happening at once. Successful multitasking. Sudden events or changes. So we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This has been coming in your guys' readings for a while. Feeling very heart-centered. Perhaps taking a leap of faith towards being coming more heart-centered and trusting yourself. I see that you want to build a future for yourself in finances. Perhaps you've been single and you're going to take a leap of faith towards Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So much happening all at once when Saturn goes direct that you are all up in your head about what the actual F is going on here. Because shit's about to get real, my friends. If you thought you were going to be single for quite some time. Yep, and no burrs. No burrs right there. We have a new love stepping in or the understanding that you have love with somebody. There's a mutual attraction going on here. Girl sees guy, girl likes guy, guy sees girl, guy likes girl. Yep, but there's a truth that's about to be spoken about an ending or an ingenious idea about how to handle something that you want to let go of. It's time to move on from what? Confusion? Move on from, from indecision and stagnation about which way to move forward. Time to move on from being single, perhaps. Time to move on from, well, whatever it is you're moving on from, it's a wish granted. Whatever it is you're moving towards, whatever's coming in is a wish granted. 
something you've walked away from that possibly took you great strength to walk away from it. Things start happening all at once and a wish granted comes your way and possibly walking away from something is your wish granted. Could be walking away from a marriage or, or beliefs you had about marriage and beliefs you had about stability. Perhaps this wish granted coming your way. Why am I getting someone could win some money? It's entirely possible. <clears throat> Changes your beliefs about how you're loved. There's definitely celebration coming your way. A wish granted that has to do with long-term commitment and the three of cups, which is celebration, going out and celebrating, but you are very conflicted. Competing goals here. This is like fighting and aggravation. You're very conflicted about moving forward into this new trajectory. When you've released, perhaps it's because something you've released was just recently released. There's conflict with a soulmate in some way, shape, or form. Because there's a wish granted that having a marriage, somebody could be seeing someone outside of their relationship. And something happens that's a wish granted within the relationship, which leaves the other person at their own whims and you feel bad about that but you're very conflicted about how to handle things with children and the soulmate that you're married to if somebody has got two things going on here yeah indecision indecision not able or willing to make a decision and this is someone sitting there doing their homework about what they're going to cut out what actually are they going to cut out Perhaps you thought something was never going to turn around in your marriage and then all of a sudden you did. Well, I see the three of swords. Someone's heart's going to get broken and moving forward fast. This is, could definitely be about a third party scenario and I don't usually get that energy from any readings. But I'm getting that now. Working together with somebody, learning and growing together to become the best you can be. Recognition for high quality work. And the six of pentacles. So, someone had a plan, and plans completely changed, and it's going to break someone else's heart, or you're going to have to, or it breaks your heart that these plans changed. Someone's trying to get away with something here. I don't got the Seven of Swords at all, but that's for what I'm getting. There's been, hmm, you feel left out in the cold. Someone feels left out in the cold. Someone feels like there's no communication. There's no equal reciprocity. There's no, they've been holding on tight to a situation, hoping it would grow. Hoping to invest time and effort into something, but right now this is where we're sitting. So there's been a, an out and out change here in energy for you guys. Or if this is what you've been dealing with, you are going to have an out-and-out -out change in energy in the form of a Nine of Cups, the Hierophant of Commitment and a Celebration, but you have competing goals with the person that you love about how this is going to happen. We have focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. I'm sorry about the noise. True love. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love. So if someone's heart has been broken because they've been let go, I see that there is going, because the truth was spoken, which caused it confusion, there is going to be a wish granted here, and I see you moving forward. But I think there's some things you're going to have to let go in order for that to happen. Turn on your heart light. Move from your heart, not your mind, my Aquarian friends. Speak the language of love. So... What can you do to improve this relationship? What can you do to improve this is that if that's your choice? What is it that you can do? There's many ways to show love. All right, angel advice. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I'm happy, at peace, and I love you very much. If someone has lost somebody here that you love very much, a soulmate or 
somebody in family has passed away and your heart is absolutely broken and you feel left out in the cold because perhaps this person was somebody who was a lot of stability for you. They're here with you. In fact, they're closer than they've ever, ever been. New romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through existing relationship. I'm sorry, even with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Let's get a postcard from Spirit for you guys. Dearest you, there are times you get lost but refuse to see your part in things. Happens to everyone. Something feels familiar but sort of off. If you're feeling confused, it's best to throw away that map you're using, which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences. That isn't what you need right now. Instead, take a deep breath and open up to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means that part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that's shown up in your life. Yes, this is the right time to wake up and start again. By the way, you will always get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out of denial is like being temporarily blinded by super bright lights. Allow your eyes to adjust. Carry on. Special one, a beautiful life awaits. Loving you so, so much. Blessings to you, and I hope this resonates for somebody, and I hope there's some comfort coming your way.